This sort of looks like where people might have once drove in to have middle of the woods cookouts, drunken orgies, whatever. Back in the old days, Reddingstown Forest got a workout or two from the locals. I remember it well. Oh, you can hear the sound of cars. It's been a while since I've heard those. Nearly always an indication of civilization. Pretty cool that I can figure the place out. Very few visits. I've never actually seen this particular place before. This looks great. I don't know what it is. A lot of striations. They're everywhere. The maker of little birdhouses and doers. Now somewhere in here, you put a toy train set, but I don't know exactly where. And I'd be coming back here anyway, is you kidding? This is the kind of place you want to show your friends and their friends. Mostly just bicycles and dogs. And yes, here we are, number one. The meeting of the Red Trail. is most pronounced. So here we have it. The proverbial home stretch. The last break up along the red trail.
Horsford Ponds. No doubt where the pooch parade paused for a bit of mucky water and a few intestinal viruses. Man, it's kind of muddy in there. Fairly high turbidity. Poor pooch. <laughs> Ooh. There's the open stream. There's your conduit element. Before you know it, there's the parking lot of some kind. And then I'll just, ooh, look, it's a love lock in a tree. Actually, it's probably to secure this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Thing when they want it at night or whatever. Pretty impressive. Sprawling, varied, and completely charming high rock town forest. Here, in the astute and thoughtful town of Nita. Oh look, they have to put huge rocks in front of the kiosk. So nitwits won't pummel it. Oh! <laughs> See, I didn't quite know what to make of the dog parade. My, what an asshole she was. She must have had about seven of the things running loose. I'm probably trying to pay the mortgage on the stupid McMansion she bought with her imbecilic entrepreneurial dreams. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Mosquitoes and ticks. People have really had it with dogs. <laughs> and this is just more grotesque and hideous baby boomer scoff laws. It's mostly cranky baby boomers. <laughs> that one was a pro though. She's probably getting 50 something bucks a mud to bring that little parade through the woods. That's the primary constituents for the outdoors here in the Commonwealth. Dog walkers. <laughs> I observed one bicyclist. Virtually no one was actually just hiking. And everyone had a dog, didn't have a leash. 
over and out.